Uh, ladies and gentlemen and people of the media, you must all know by now that by the end of this month, the 31st of October 2017, Dr. Paddy Lehocha's official term of contract will come to an end as South Africa's statistician general. This is an end of an illustrious career, an era, 17 years as South Africa's statistician general and another decade in the trenches of States SA. Allow me to extend my heartfelt gratitude and thanks and salute Dr. Lehocha. I do so as a minister in the presidency and on behalf of the government. Dr. Lehocha, you certainly have brightened up our day. Under your leadership, States SA is universally considered as the best national statistics office in the African continent. Working with you at the United Nations headquarters in, the, in New York recently and noting how people across the globe recognized you and embraced your efforts was a lesson in extraordinary commitment and a testimony to your resilience. Thank you. This, I believe, is a legacy of your tenure at the helm of States SA. It was certainly a highly productive and exceedingly exciting time that we shared together. Thank you for that too. We are preparing a function with fitting of his contribution and the details will be followed soon. At the last cabinet meeting that was held on Wednesday the 18th of October, it was decided that the time is upon us to bring new hands on deck to chart the next phase in the history of the evolution of States SA. And these are indeed exciting times. It therefore gives me the singular honor and pleasure to inform the people and announce formally the appointment of Mr. Risenga Maluleke as the new Statistician General of South Africa and the head of States A. Congratulations. Thank you, Minister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm indeed happy to announce that Mr. Risenga, with all his passion, commitment, and institutional memory, will serve to continue the journey of ensuring that States SA delivers on its historic journey of making this institution the preeminent conduit of trust. Mr. Malilwege, it was said that statistics is a conduit of trust, and only those who can be trusted should be its stewards and custodians. This is now the baton that the entire South Africa passes on to you. Mr. Malulege is a blue-blooded States SA employee in character and in conduct. He joined States SA 20 years ago in 1997 and has served in various leadership and management roles, having joined the organization as a provincial manager for the Limpopo Provincial Office in 1992. For the past nine years, he has been a Deputy Director General for Statistics Collections and Outreach. The portfolio he managed included provincial offices responsible for data collection for censuses and sampling surveys international statistical development, as well as communications, marketing, and stakeholder relations. Mr. Maluleke holds a master's degree from the Center for Regional and Urban Statistical Exploration Crews from the University of Stellenbosch, a Bachelor of Science degree, Mathematical Statistics from the University of Limpopo, as well as senior leadership certificates from Wits University and the Harvard Business School. Mr. Maluleke has actively participated in and led the transformation agenda for statistics not only in South Africa but on the African continent through his active engagement and chairing various global fora on statistical development on the continent and the rest of the world. He continues to drive the positioning of official statistics as an independent function within the planning apparatus of our country. This is in line with the commitment to evidence-based policy formulation 
as encapsulated in South Africa's lodestar, our national development plan. At an international level, he has been instrumental in managing States SA participation in international meetings such as the United Nations Statistical Commission. He has also represented States SA on emerging issues such as big data and its inherent programs of data revolution in support of indicators for the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, and Africa's own Agenda 2063. Mr. Malulege is indeed a well-rounded intellectual, a grounded statistician, and has been a committed public servant for all his working life. He takes office on the 1st of November 2017, and we wish Mr. Malulege and the entire States SA management team well in their endeavor to continue to deliver official statistics that are in our country that our country needs. As I wish Mr. Maluleke all the very best, let me remind him that he now steps into the yellow suit <laughs> and the blue suede shoes of no less a person than the formidable outgoing Statistician General Dr. Padi Lehosha. We pride ourselves that States SA, as our national statistics agency, continues to have the independence and the freedom to exercise its professional will and to illuminate issues as they are in our society. Long may it last. I thank you. Thank you. I think, Minister, I think the new statistician can change the color. <laughs> GCIS. Thank you. And in conclusion, as we close, um, I think Minister Hadebe will remain because he's going to have another short media started. briefing. Thank you. Uh, and that tradition, I want to thank, before I thank the minister, but uh, to say to the minister, this is the drum that has to be handed over to this new man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the keys. And this key opens all offices it's in the 2000 is a master key. It's a master key. It's a master key. And it's this is key. the key that we used to cut the ribbon when you were there at okay, okay. These are the two things that he has to keep and guard is his life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, let me really thank uh, the, the minister, uh, thank uh, the successive presidents of the country, thank South Africans at large. I, I, I take it that DSM is South African by naturalization. I come from Lesotho. But this country gave me a rare privilege, a very rare privilege to lead an organization that is so crucial for the country as a person from outside. I suppose Putin paid the legacy of O.R. Tambo of internationalism. I don't take that for granted. And I've been able, through this country, to reach the heights I don't know whether I would ever have reached. And Minister Convey my profound appreciation and thanks to the president and the presidents before President Zuma for giving me this rare privilege that indeed I could lead in a scientific environment as a person from outside. Naturalized. I don't take that lightly at all. A message will be put at the appropriate time, but I leave an organization that is highly professional. Um, PhDs and everything, I think that will be done at the appropriate moment. But let me say, Minister, again, um, I had the privilege of tossing a die 21 years ago. And in tossing this die, 20, 
one years ago. But before closing this day, I had the privilege of meeting this young man uh, a number of years ago, before 20, 23 years ago, and uh, we were discussing about the future of statistics. But 21 years ago, I tossed the guy after an interview that we held, considering him for an appointment of a deputy director in Limpopo. Immediately after that, I called Benny Mukaba. That's why we brought Benny here. I said, Dr. Mukaba, we have a statistician general. We have a head of statistics, which was before a statistician general. We have a head of statistics in the making. That's what I said 20 years ago. Matters of appointment of statistician general is a matters of uh, the president, the cabinet of South Africa. I kept my die cast, and I'm very happy that what I saw in this man, the cabinet of South Africa also saw. And it was even before I was statistician general myself. But I saw in him that we have a future. I thank you, a Minister. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Honorable Minister, let me start uh, off by thanking you for presiding over this press conference. A press conference that makes and puts in place such demands for the responsibilities that I'm taking from the 1st of November. When I was uh, growing up as a little village boy, little did I know that one day I would be put in the same hall where matters of OR Tambo are being discussed. So, so this is a huge responsibility. Uh, maiden speeches are always not the best because people haven't performed anything. But one thing I want to assure uh, South Africa uh, through the minister uh, to take the message to his colleagues in cabinet and uh, of course to the president is that I take this responsibility quite seriously. I've been in States SA as they have indicated for 20 years. There is nothing that I do not know in States SA. So I understand everything. Uh, I understand its successes and where issues need to be tweaked to go forward. Uh, all the issues will follow in due course and we will be communicating. However, let me mention again that uh, I, I have no aspirations to uh, follow Padile Hutla and put on a yellow suit. So <laughs> I, I'm going to disappoint you. I bring back the drum. <laughs> uh, all I can assure you is that I would like to provide measurement to the country, doing so impartially. One of the things that uh, uh, we have always had to deal with as statisticians, with the independence that the laws of this country have given us, Minister, is to stay outside the policy space. Half the time we get asked, and, and the media usually will ask on, on matters of policy, the, the role of the statistician general is to measure uh, uh, and illuminate issues impartially without uh, uh, taste buds, and that's what I, I wish to do. Uh, the rest uh, will be what we will be communicating as and when we have uh, releases from State SA. Again, let me thank uh, members of the media, and uh, in conclusion, again, Minister, thank you. Thank you.